Preventing COVID-19 is top of mind as little ghosts and goblins head out Halloween night, but that doesn't mean traditional precautions get tossed aside. If your neighborhood is allowing trick or treating during the pandemic, Dr. Adam Keating says that COVID-19 safety is important. It certainly makes sense to take precautions this year uh, in masking, in having social distancing, in using some hand hygiene, um, and um, making sure that um, we're not congregating so into large groups. As little ones go door to door, Dr. Keating says it's best to wait until they get home to allow them to dig into their goodies. It's a good idea for everyone to have good hand hygiene and wash their hands before and after eating candy for many reasons, including this. Um, I'd encourage kids not to eat their candy as they're going along. If you are handing out treats, be sure to wear a cloth mask and stay six feet away from trick or treaters. Individual treat bags in the driveway is a good way to go. And if you choose to hand kids candy, be sure to sanitize your hands between groups. We'd rather not have large bowls of candy that kids are all reaching their hands into one after another. And honestly, if you think about Halloween of the past, when a kid would wipe his nose and reach into the big bowl of candy, that probably wasn't a great idea then either. We're just all paying a little better attention. Traditional Halloween safety still applies. Dr. Keating says children should be supervised and visible. You have a light around with you so that you can be seen by others and you can see where you're going. If people are, kids are taking care to notice where traffic is. In addition, costumes should fit properly to avoid tripping, be reflective and fire resistant. Great memories in the studio of taking our little ones trick or treating. You know, if your family is not comfortable trick or treating during the pandemic, Dr. Keating says there are many fun alternatives to celebrate, such as a backyard scavenger hunt, 